We have put together a series of extreme climbs and extreme techniques with the help of Daryl Curtis. We're going to start off with a rock climb, a steep rock climb, and we'll just see the techniques involved. Enjoy. Uphill paddling. In this specific segment, we're going to be uh, observing Daryl going uphill paddling. And that's a technique that uh, all of us use. But all it is is really getting up and uphill uh, an extreme section without falling over and with a minimal amount of uh, energy used. Now over here you can see very, very carefully Daryl is uh, adjusting and putting the bike where he wants it to go. Because there's no point in him um, paddling and the front wheel going where it wants to go because then he's just going to go into the wrong sections. So you can see here carefully, he keeps the front wheel very, very light most times. In actual fact, it almost creates a wheelie effect and then a bit of a pivot effect. Uh, the whole time the front wheel has to be light uh, and also in this specific um, technique you'll notice his bum goes to the back quite a lot uh, and that is for a specific reason that's to get traction on the back wheel look at that if you look carefully you will see his um okay not there because it's, all he's doing is um, lifting it up with his legs over here but as he goes further look at that bum on the back and he use, uses short bursts of throttle but a control throttle, it doesn't just spin. At no stage over here do you actually see any spinning or any point where the, where the tire is just spinning and creating a hole. You know, you, you get to the point where you realize and, and you can figure out where your tire is and if it is spinning or digging a hole or if you're actually going nowhere. Uh, and the whole time Daryl is totally active on the bike. Active on the bike, placing it where he wants it to go. Just watch carefully, look how he actually angled it there. He almost went in a straight manner and then pulled it to the left. Now he's going uphill, so obviously gravity works for him. So by pulling on the bars to the left, it'll actually pull him to the left hand side. He aligns the bike. Uh, he'll then get to a very, very steep. Now it doesn't look steep on camera, but it, it's quite a steep part of the incline. And um, there's a hole just before the rock. So he has to position his legs. Now that's a very, very important uh, point as well. Now, Daryl, tell us about that really, really seriously extreme climb that you just went up. Well, this climb is one of the most technical climbs in Gotcha, you know, and um, it's probably the best way to start training for something like an extreme enduro or the roof of Africa. You're going to come and do this stuff, and you're going to fall over like I just did. I took a wrong line, I lost traction, I lost my footing, and I fell over. So, yeah. you know, if you are falling over, you must feel bad about it. You get back on the bike and you go try it again, and you try and find out what you did wrong. 100%. That's extreme. Now, those rocks, that's seriously extreme, guys. If you look at this, Maybe the cameras don't do justice to it, but it's quite a serious climate, isn't it? Um, it's very dry. It's loose today. We're about uh, 35 degrees here. Um, the soil is very dry. There's not much traction. Yeah. And the minute that gets onto a rock, you lose your drive. And it's very important here to use precise uh, throttle and clutch control. Clutch control. I saw that. A hell of a lot of clutch control, eh? You guys must understand, on an enduro bike, the minute they start to have wheel spin, yeah. that's when they're scrubbing off, they, they, they're going nowhere. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah. And I'll tell you a little bit of a couple of tricks just now about momentum and rocking the bike and weighting your pegs. It makes all the difference in the world up a climb like this. I would appreciate that. Excellent, thank you sir.